is again so any of you guys know I have written two things one is designers and one is artists um, in designing I have to make a layout of the thing and what an artist will do animation the final texture okay so it is I think one and the same thing layout mm -hmm. and texture but so this terminology change a little bit when we come to gaming industry. You mentioned that you are into web designing, right? So in that you will be designing the look and feel of how the website looks. You will decide what color it should have. Right? But from a game development perspective, that's the job of an artist. That's what an artist will do. Then what is the role of a game designer? You must have heard of the term game designer or the type, right? What does that mean? So I think basically it's putting the components that the game require and I mean the basically layouting the framework. Like so what can you give me an example? <coughs> Any game can that we uh, term these game designers as game directors? Game directors? No. So yeah. for example, if you are joining, if you want to pursue your career in game design. Can you join a company as a game director? No, right? Does game designing means how how the storyline would go, how everything would come into place? The storyline will go obviously. That is a very good point that you mentioned. Game designer will decide how the storyline. How it feels means what should happen when this happens. Okay, if, how should this object react with interact with this? And the artist would make it happen. Mm -hmm. But how it should be doing it, a designer would think. Right, right. That's precisely what a designer would do. But if you have to talk, let's consider an example of a highly popular game that is there recent days, Angry Birds. Right? So, what will a designer do in that? Design the structures, like where a pig should be placed, or yes. the whole design where exactly should the bird fit it that everything falls in a one no so uh, the first part that I have mentioned is right like the, a designer will decide where for example pigs should be placed right so, so. a designer will decide how many birds should I get a designer will decide in this level this is how the box will be arranged so basically uh, the, the mechanics in the rules mechanics, rules, and things like that. That's a very good term that you have used. In fact, that is one term that is used in the industry very frequently. Mm -hmm. So a designer will be something who will design mechanics. As you have mentioned, it will also design storyline. It will also design, uh, it will basically obviously answer the question, how? How to create fun. So that is a question that the answer to which a game designer really have. Right? The answer to this question how can my game That is a question which should be answered by the test. Right? So basically, look on mechanics is the most important thing. Right? So, designer will say this is how I can create fun. An artist will say this is how it will look awesome. And programmer will take both of things and will write into something. So, it is code that is going to design the mechanics, he is going to write the code which is going to uh, uh, design the workflow of the storyline, like if I take this <coughs> and there is one more term that is used in the industry which is called as game. So how the game will be, so basically when you see angry codes, it is 
when you're playing the game, that session is actually called as gameplay. The way you interact with the game. A programmer will also code the gameplay. Right? Programmer will code the gameplay from the artwork that we have provided by the artist. For example, we have written the dialogues in the storyline and different kinds of dialogues. A script writer, for example. Mm -hmm. right. An artist is going to create the artist, uh, the actors for that. Right. And the programmer is going to put all those artists inside the game. Okay. That looks good. Can I clear this up? Yeah. Any questions <coughs> till now? There is no other industry that you will find which will have all these three kinds of people. Not just design the product. If we consider, for example, software development, let's say, Infosys, for example, they are not going to have designers, they are not going to have artists. They may have artists, but they are, for example, creating a software in which they have a user interface, then there may be an artist who will design this is how the button will look, for example. That's boring. You may have the movie business, right? On which they are going to be designers and they are going to be artists. They are not going to be rappers. <coughs> Even if you consider an animation, <coughs> animation is mostly artists and designers, basically the script writers. The programmers plays a very, very uh, low role. For example, there are a couple of companies, for example, Pixar, uh, who write their own software. For example, 3D modeling software they write similar to Maya that I mentioned. They, they do a lot of technical stuff right, because they don't want to be dependent on say Autodesk Maya to incorporate a couple of features. Right? That's why the kind of movies that they create are very, very... Uh, so basically they set the standard in the industry. Right? So game development is something in which all these three kinds of people come together to create something which is really awesome. Right?